pressed like we were, but it still takes a little time. Let's see here. Uh, but I don't have to do anything at all, right? No, I'm going to go to my okay. page and I'm going to tag you on it while I verify that it's connected. Okay. Because right now I don't see anybody in here, but let's see. All right. Huh. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, no, we're on. Okay. It's just taking a while. Okay, I'm going to tag you on it. So you can. All right, let's see. Yep, there you are. Susan Live. Suzanne, I'm sorry. Yeah, Suzanne. It's Lee. Lee. It's Lee. Suzanne yeah. Lee. Is that uh, French? Uh, no, it's Norwegian. Norwegian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we have quite a few from the early days of Sology, like going back like ten years. We have we connected with. I tried to like spread everything through all these different countries, and and somehow or another, we connected uh, pretty big in Norway. Yeah. And, oh, uh, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one town. My in husband's a Norwegian. Oh, right. That's why I've got that. Norwegian no wonder he's such a big guy. <laughs> All those Nordic guys are like huge. <laughs> I guess it's a cold <laughs> weather. It must be genetic. Um, yeah, and I remember because uh, of uh, I think it's called Stavanger, Norway. I have some really dear friends there, and oh great. And so this would have been like I think this might have been. Well, I think I was doing videos, but I wasn't doing. Um, uh, interviews or shows like this and uh, yeah and so this I knew these these two ladies and they were probably <clears throat> they were probably like um, 35 you know uh, uh -huh. younger on the side of these communities a little bit younger on the side of these communities and uh, and so one of them said that she went I think she went home and her mother was watching Sology <laughs> and I was like what <laughs> Yeah, it's mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. So Suzanne Lee is in the house. Yeah. I think uh, I can already tell uh, with a couple of the comments. People, uh, there are a lot of people familiar with Suzanne, oh. uh, and I was just telling her <clears throat> how you know I came to uh, find out that she was going to be on the show because uh, Morgan had brought you up uh, months before, if not a year before. And, oh. and so I was saying, yeah, I know that name. And she was like, well, back in the day, you know, like when the internet first started really blowing yeah. up and she was like, probably like a lot of people, I wasn't there yet. Cause mine was like 2011, but I think hers was 1999. And so she would go to Lisa Brown and Sandra Walter and to you to get the validation of the things that she was you know, personally downloading Right. That because of the uh, lack of, uh, you know, I guess, shareability, <laughs> the shareability right. factor at that time, right. there was a lot of people thinking they were crazy uh, around the world until they found yeah. stuff like yours. So I just want to say on behalf of everybody yeah. in the community, um, thank you. Although I, I'm not as familiar with your work, but... Um, I know it's been there a long time, and I just want to say on behalf of everybody, thank you for having uh, the courage to put this stuff out there. Uh, yeah. Because I'm sure you helped a lot of people, like you did Morgan. So. Well, it was the Arcturians. They they hmm. came in, and so they're they're the ones that have been primarily giving me the guidance, et cetera. Wow. Yeah. I so. like I like to ask people on the show, you know, did you have a wake up experience or have you always been this weird? But in your case, uh, the Arcturians was that the moment uh -huh. that it that it started? Was that like the defining moment, the first time they walked in the door? Uh, let me see. I see. I was always out there, so it's kind of tell, hard to tell. <laughs> well, most people say both. <laughs> so you fall into the category. You're right at home. Uh, I'm the both category. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, the Arcturians, they kind of, they came into my mind and came into my mind. And, and so uh, I always wrote things down. And eventually it got to be too crazy. I had to actually learn how to type and type decently um and uh 
So then they started coming in. They started telling me things that they would like me to do. And I'm going, okay. So I did. Now, now, when when did this happen? I mean, was this like many years ago? or Many. Back when the uh, webinars just started. Back when uh, there was home computers. That you had a computer that mm. you could have at home. So probably like so it was, the early 90s? Yes. yes. Yeah. Or maybe even earlier than yeah, that. Yeah, late 80s or I, I could never be that old. So I <laughs> <right>. <laughs> hey, I was born in sixty one. I'm, I'm a, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I was forty six. So forty six. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, like, I mean, like for me, I didn't really have a lot of early galactic connection, or maybe it was just not in my field. I don't know. Um, and I've heard people on this show talk you know talk about how from the very beginning like two three five years old and and so they were very familiar with their galactic lineage or connection or aspects did you have mm -hmm. any inkling of star family or anything like that uh was it a shock to you or a surprise at all that you're talking to uh these aspects from another planet another place it wasn't shocking for some reason. For some reason, it wasn't shocking. But then I was the imagination person and talked to my dolls, talked to the dog, talked to the cat. It didn't matter. It didn't have to speak English back. You know, we all communed in some different manner. So it, it wasn't weird. And the Arcturians came in and they... Uh, told me to uh, make a website. I didn't even know how to type back then. I'm going, huh, what, what's a website? You know, and so eventually I ran in some people that told me what a website was and knew how to type, showed me how to type. <laughs> then, uh, then I was out on, you know, or more visible to more people. Wow. Yeah. So your website's got a good uh, almost probably 30 years on it yeah long time it's probably like website number 700 <laughs> from the beginning of the internet no that's powerful it was it was actually very much towards the beginning yeah and i had no idea what any of it was until the arcturians whoever they were came in and started telling me to do things but even as a little kid, I always talked to something I couldn't see. So it wasn't that weird. Right, right. And so I just said, wow, this person feels really, really good. I'm going to do what it's telling me to do. And it told me the first thing was to make a website. And I said, what? What's a website? You know? <laughs> and then like the next day, somebody calls me up and says, oh, I've been trying to work on this website or something like that. And I'd go, aha. That's a website. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, that's fascinating. I want to go yeah, back to I want to go back to that. That's absolutely fascinating. Your energy is amazing. Uh, but you, you, you said something uh, I don't want to overlook because I think it's important. So as a child, you spent all this time talking to anything, be it uh, an inanimate object or an animal or whatever. Yeah, they were all uh, they were all alive. Absolutely. But to me, they were well. No, because I talked to my stuffed animals, my favorite yeah. stuffed. Yeah. Well, I that's just, what I mean. That's what yeah. I mean. I think I think yeah. a lot of us over the last few years are developing that uh, connection with everything external of us that we can actually have a conversation with these things. These are made of the same particles of the goddess or god that we are right i mean so yeah. that sounds like something that i guess was open in you from from early on or you were very comfortable with obviously it was always there i can't remember mm. it not being mm. there yeah i think that uh -huh. that's just you know something uh, i just felt like needed to be pointed out because 
I find that that's a bigger part of my life every day. And it's interesting in these times because, you know, everything goes deeper, right? So like, yeah. oh, to say something like, oh, everything outside of me is, you know, I remember writing 10 years ago that the external is my twin flame. The universe is my twin flame. Everything I can see. Yeah. Is, but, you know, I wasn't as in tune with it as I am today. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's one of those things that in this transition we call ascension, that really yeah. challenges you to go deeper in yeah. in that connection because, which leads to my question, uh, is there in your mind, through your experience, uh, a relationship between the level of that connection you have with these things external of you and your alchemy, your creative abilities, your magic? Um, not alchemy, not ad, not magic, um, just me. I was, it was there. And, um, and I told people about it. Uh, some, I could kind of feel if people would get and go, okay, weirdo, I'm leaving, you know, <laughs> as opposed to, oh, tell me more, you know. So um, it, it was there. And I, uh, the Arcturians told me to, to go to the same time, same place every day and sit down and uh, open up your mind. Praying, but they, it wasn't a religious type thing. Right. It was more like a going into a higher frequency. Right. And uh, the first thing that happened is that they, I kept getting, make a website, make a website, make a website. There was no such thing. And then I thought, what are they talking about with this website? And then finally a friend called me up and said, uh, knew what a website was. And I says, yeah, they've been telling me, blah, blah, blah. And so they said, oh, I know how to make a website. And so that person put together the whole website for me. I didn't know. You know, of course, that was like the, the beginning website where it's just information. And, you know, it's, it's gone so far, far, far beyond what it was when it was first started. But, um, well, that's, yeah. that's actually the perfect answer <laughs> to what I was asking because <laughs> oh, it's, it's experiment, you know, you actually experienced it. And I guess what, what I was, where I saw the connection or maybe what unconsciously moved me to ask it was uh, like the information that was, that's coming in, in this case, it's the Arcturians is mm -hmm. like synchronistic in some way or a sign or a guidance, I guess you could also call it. So I, I'm, I'm just, assuming I'm probably right, but like through that connection, more things develop. Like you were uh, given yeah. information to share, uh, maybe some other stuff, how to do it, like how to share it or different things like that. Cause it sounds like they helped you with the technical side. Yeah. Well, they didn't, they helped me find a person to, Oh, that was the other thing. They kept saying, make a website. I'm going, what's a website? And then uh, I was just yakking with a girlfriend and I said, because she knew that I did these uh, meditations every morning in the same time, same place. The first thing they said was same time, same place, got to free, you know, create an energy field, a higher dimensional energy field. And I'm going, huh? Well, okay, well, I'll do it, you know, <laughs> and it worked. And so I'm going, then they said, do a website. I'm going, what the heck? And then a girlfriend called and I, and, uh, I told her about this whole thing. And I said, what's a website? She says, oh, I know what it is. And she set up my whole first website. Wow. She, for free. <laughs> she did the whole thing for free. Um, and, uh, and that was the beginning. So that early information, was it, uh, would be, was it slanted to, let's say, uh, the soul more? Or was it to, more to what was going to be happening since then up to this day what's going on what some people call ascension awakening that type of thing um okay when i needed to know something then they would tell me but if i didn't need to know it then they wouldn't tell me because 
you know, they didn't want to overload me. Already I was going, what am I insane? Or what's happening here? Okay. So, um, did yeah, you, so did you, did you question your sanity as we all have? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, not really my sanity, but especially like when they kept saying, you know, nagging at me, make a website. And I never knew what that was. And then I tell a girlfriend and the girlfriend said, Oh, I know what it is. And she did put out the whole website, you know, for free, like I said, and that did it there. That said, okay, now I know that this isn't just my imagination. This is real. This leads to something that is in the physical world as well. Because I always had the physical world and the imagination world. Wow. So now they're connecting, which is really, I guess, yeah. what we're all doing. Yeah. Yes, it is what we're all doing. I think so, too. Yeah, that was really wise of you to pull that up. So um, I'm I'm asking this too. I, I love this story. I would like to dive deeper into the how this all evolved for you. It's fascinating, especially <laughs> with your energy. Because anyway, uh, but recently, very recently, I I've had some experiences, and and I'm a big believer as the individual goes, so goes the collective. So I know it's not just me. It's uh, let's just say experience along with code or whatever is more accessible and we all tap into different things. But for me, there's been this blending that's been occurring. It started on the 1st of uh, April uh, and yeah. it really picked up in the last week. And I've had cool. two periods of like, I want to say like three to four hours each of the last two days uh, where it seems like that imaginary what we were call imaginary um, reality and uh -huh. this this one feel like they're merging, like almost yes. like a dream state or lucid dream state. Yeah. So my question is, uh, is there a, is there a reason for that? Can you add anything to it? Uh, do you do you feel like what I'm trying to describe uh, is something we might be seeing more of? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because um, it's something that's really innate in everybody. Uh, everybody has that ability to go into higher frequencies, but they don't know that they have it, so they don't use it, and so they push it away. But once you get that first experience of it, it is so strong that you know, okay, Obviously, I'm not going to tell anybody about this because they'll think I'm crazy, <laughs> but that was real, and yeah. I do not think I'm crazy. And in fact, I was uh, getting my PhD in psychology, <laughs> so wow. that was a little helpful. <laughs> so wow. What a, what a combination, though. What a combination to be <laughs> yeah, that. that was a good, yeah. To be downloading uh, to the level you have uh, for the last 30 years and yeah. to, to be, yeah. Cool. Go ahead, continue. Well, the, the psychology, uh, that helped me believe that I wasn't crazy. Because it was, it uh, overlapped with the physical world. So I, I would, you know, get these, all these weird things going on in my head and stuff. And then I'd go to class and then they would kind of put it in order. Okay. You know. And so when I'd come back, I'd go, okay, all right, I think I understand this one now. So it was, it was a good connection to uh, have your imagination, which can't be real, of course, matched up, like practically word for word, where your teachers are telling you. But they're not telling you, like, they're not using that language. It's just a matter of language. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you were tapped into it already. Um, you know, yeah. I share a lot of memes every day in the group. And I, I realized I had a really uh, funny revelation today because I used to read a lot of books for yeah. many years. And like a lot of people, I put them down now. But um, and I was just thinking, wow, you know, you're actually getting downloaded as you gather these memes. You know, it's 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 like I could see the. Uh, the same pattern of reading a book. But anyway, I saw one uh, today that, that I found really interesting. And 
it was talking about from a psychology standpoint, or maybe it was psychiatry to be fair, uh, but I'm not really sure. Uh, and it said that whatever profession that I can't remember which one it is, uh, would consider these imaginary voices and, and different things that they would, that the, te- the process was to separate from it, was to, I guess, yeah. okay, and that, I guess the, it was, I think it was a funny meme, and, it was, and basically the, the, the inverse of it was when in reality, you know, you're not a multiple personality or split personality or, or bipolar, you're actually, uh, these are parts of you. And to, you know, people use the word embody. So was, was that it? Was, is that a difference to, from psychology standpoint, do they look to separate the patient from these imaginary encounters and friends? Well, a good psychologist would never say to a person that, you know, you're wacko, you know, basically to make it, put it into a word. Don't say that. They would go with them. They would go with them yeah. and say, oh, where do you think you came from that? Did you hear that from this? Did you hear from that? Wow. Which is really good because it grounds it for you. You know, no, you're not crazy. But, you know, children, children have all kinds of imaginary everything. And nobody thought thinks children are crazy. They just think it's cute. Right. Isn't that sweet? Look at that wonderful imagination. And so the, the people that are still, that imagination continues to be fed, then um, it can grow. It can grow. Right. And then you get more tr- trust in yourself. And you'll know that you'll be able to discern between that person's just kind of like fooling around and, you know, just trying messing with you as opposed to, wow, that person, they go to the same school I do. <laughs> Somehow we're meeting up there somewhere, you know, and, and then that validates both of us. Right. Yeah. And it's interesting too, because, uh, you know, you remind me a lot of, uh, like your connection reminds me a lot of like Morgan's it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's been a a part of, you know, the repetition of her day and of her life for a long, long time. Right. And, and even when she was younger, we won't go into it all, but I mean like the development and the strengthening of it. And then some people, uh, I don't know, I look at myself and, and it's, there was less of a conscious effort, but I guess you would, you know, if you're praying as a kid, I guess that's the same type of thing. Like you were talking about when you went to the same yeah. place every day. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So that just killed my question. <laughs> is there a different... But, uh, what was so... your answer? Tell me your answer. <laughs> well, the answer is that, they, that I was, that I have been, and other people like me have been connecting. It just looks a little different. You know, where you're very aware of who it is, or in her case, she's, you know, maybe it's, her, let's say, her higher self. Um, uh-huh. We're... I guess we do it, and it just, it, you know, it, it looks different on other people. Um, you were, but you were talking about the Arcturians, and of course, they've been a big name. Um, yeah. You know, Pleiadians, the Arcturians, Syrians, and, and yeah. a few others. Um, do Do you have a a feel for the Arcturians? I mean, did they ever go any deeper? Like, were your family, or do they? Do you feel like that they have like a specific role in what we're all doing here like something that they uh have a strength in that they're assisting with us specifically absolutely they came to rescue gaia Mm. because humans were not really being kind enough to their planetary life and the this is what i got from the arcturians and and the arcturians realize that this is not okay, that if the humans continue in that way at X amount of time, it's going to really be bad, you know. And, and I was even shown a couple of things, well, what it would be like if, if people didn't get it together. And so there, that first part was, were warnings. 
that, you know, this is a living being. This is not a big chunk of rock that you can do anything you want to. It's a living being. And it has a core and it's got all the things, you know, that people have, only it's a big circle instead of, you know, a stretched out body. And so as people begin to really realize that they're not different than the planet, they're, you know, there's horses and dogs and cats and, you know, they're all, they're all part of this planet. So they don't get kicked off the planet because they're different from the big planet. No, everything and everyone that's on the planet is there for a purpose. Right. So- and and as, as you'll see, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, talking about outer space and, you know, once they went to the moon, now they're they're starting to stretch out even further and so now humanity is moving beyond that third dimensional person that can only uh, exist on a third dimensional planet so, yeah 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 so this, the, this is the beginning <laughs> yeah and so the yeah that's yeah that was a provocative statement in so many ways uh I try to stay abreast of things, you know, over the years, a lot of people, you call it disclosure platforms or conspiracy platforms or whatever, but, you know, just the mention of the moon, uh, we're talking the 1960s (laughs) and it's like Uh, everything, everything just went to, uh, you know, got put on the back burner, but there's pretty credible evidence theories, you know, whistleblowers, whatever you want to call it, um, that talk about the level of technology uh, that has been, um, you know, I guess hidden uh, since that time. And, uh, and one of the things that's really interesting about it and does really resonate with me and with what you're saying is that when they talk about this technology, it's not just being able to go to other planets and, and they're actually talking about interdimensional uh, somehow having access through technology and otherwise means of doing the things that I feel like we can all do very soon, which might be teleportation, um, you know, uh, simultaneous conscious uh, experience, you know, as if we're in two different places at the same time. Uh, well, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, well... What is occurring is, you know, most people use like maybe 10% of their brain, you know, and the rest just kind of does whatever it does, but they don't really use it. So what's happening more and more um, is that there are, uh, well, as you've seen, there have been people you know, going to outer space and then no more people trying to go to outer space. And, uh, you know, more and more, if you go on the Internet, it's it's up there all the time now. So the Internet is saying, get ready, folks, because we're ready for the next the next example, you know, the next experience. And um, and so we are we are we are preparing for what is next. But we can't say what's next because the human beings have to, uh, they have so much to do with it. And human genes, human beings, they change their mind right and left and every other kind of thing. And so there has to be a, uh, uh, a community. And, and that's on the internet too. There's so many fantastic things on the internet about where we're going and how we're advancing and how we're allowing ourselves to go beyond being a planetary person and being a galactic person. Mm. You know, before, uh, you know, if you wanted to go uh, to the next uh, town, that was a big deal. 
that was a big deal. You know, you had to get get on your horse or do whatever. And then bit by bit, we get to go further, and then we get to go further, and then we get to go further. And now you see on the Internet more and more where they've uh, gone into this outer space, going to, and uh, going to that outer space example, you know. So um, humans are starting to really grow up And and also, I hope this is true. <laughs> Let me see what they say. Okay, the Arturians, what the Arturians say is that more and more there are humans who are able to use more than that 10-15% of their brain. And as they use more and more of their brain, then they become more and more intelligent and they become more and more uh, knowing that um, people have a choice. They have a choice about how they want to live their lives. And, uh, and then therefore, with that choice, they know how to find that energy field that will guide them. Yes. I love the way you put that. All of you. Oh. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> you. You and your team. When I say you, I mean plural. Um, yeah, because just the thought, I mean, just, you know, we, we complicate things so much, but just, just yeah. the thought for a human being, which we know it's much more than that, but, you know, from the perspective to, to go, I am not just a human being. I am galactic. Like, yeah. when the, if, if the switch goes off in the technology that's us, and we actually embody that by choice, by, you know, following that knowing, or however you put that, that is a chemical, you know, atomic change within our within our physical consciousness um yeah it has I'm, I'm to do the... with with how many brain waves get turned on if you don't okay. you know the more you turn on brain waves the more information you get and the smarter you are how would the you rec your... how would you recommend yeah. how, how would you recommend for people to expand um their brain waves their receptivity? Well, first off, when you're working with things like brain waves and things like that, first off, you want to make sure that you're clean, that you are doing this for the, for the planet. Right. You're doing this for the planet. You are selfie people for the planet. So, because the last thing we need is a bunch of really intelligent people that have evil intentions. We right. don't want that. We've already done lots of evil intentions. We, the ones who are really waking up, are saying, no, I don't want any more evil intentions. That's it. You know, we don't need to do that because, oh, did somebody come in? <laughs> Hello, come on in. It's come happened on, before everyone. on the show. It's happened before. Well, let's uh, tune in. Okay. What was that? Yeah. It was like a, it, it was, it was like a paper flew across the, mm. the room or, something like that. But how did you experience it? Uh, how am I experiencing it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. It feels like, uh, and it's been. It started slow with you, not uh -huh. you know slow slow, but I mean I could feel something. So I was you know obviously we we're co you know mingling our energy or and, and everyone that's involved but yeah i started to feel some chills at the on the above my waist which isn't abnormal you know you you hear truth or you know but then <laughs> but then that ha well, it actually happened before that happened about 10 seconds yeah. before this energy has come up through my feet very uh -huh. very very palpable i mean like 
all up to my oh yeah yeah up to just past my knees, and yeah. at the same time when that happened, ten six ten seconds later, uh, from the bottom of my spine, a cold chill yeah. has come yeah. up and like <laughs> well, spread out to your, my shoulders. Yeah, put your put your feet on the ground when that happens. Okay, because we need to ground ourselves when we when that happens and uh and basically taking the time and energy just to ground yourself mm. me you're saying to yourself i'm not crazy this is real that's right this is this is a real thing that uh there's energy fields these are different energy fields and they bring about different things and different people respond to the same thing in different ways um but you're thinking something right now. What are you saying? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting, uh, you know, I, I, I guess would carry at least, you know, at least a couple of streams doing the show. Like you're talking to the human, and you're also engaging the higher self or the soul, right? Sometimes uh -huh. other aspects get involved, but this feels very different because it feels very physical. <clears throat> so it's like. Talking to you, I'm just going to try to put it in layman's terms. Talking to you is turning on code in me. The Arcturians are very involved. I've had a couple, not to your degree, I've had a couple of, a few you know, encounters with them. Um, <clears throat> so they feel very involved. And uh, they were like turning on memory that was stored in my tooth. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know, this is where all the crazy yeah. people hang out. And I'm just telling you uh, what's happening. But you don't have to... I'm number one crazy people. Fine, you just go right ahead. <laughs> I started this 30 years ago. Well, even before that, when I was a little kid, I everything was alive. Yeah. And the reality is everything is alive. If yeah. you have the perception to be able to examine within yourself and within that object or person or situation, um, there's a whole lot of information that we just let flow past our heads. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah. but you're, you don't do that though. You, well, you're there. Well, you're really there. This is why I asked you the question earlier because now my heart's, my heart's like really beating in a very um, powerful way. You know, very humble. Put your feet on the floor. They feet are. The <laughs> they are okay, on the good. floor. That that good. made it. That made it. No, I'm not complaining. These are actually a good sign. It's actually. No. Uh, but that that was but the you reason want I asked. To get grounded. Yeah. Well, that's the reason I was asking you the question, so I can go a little bit deeper on it now, because that made me remember. Uh, good. So as this was happening each of the last two nights for I'm going to say two to four hours, it was it was a. <clears throat> It was, I would describe it like this. I'm being given information and I'm, I'm uh, embodying or achieving or actualizing through, through uh, mind, spirit, body in my awakened consciousness. Okay, so like yeah. last night I was in a natural, in nature. And what they're telling me or what I'm hearing is that mm -hmm. It's it's a it's beyond presence. It's what you're talking about. I don't know if you said it or if I'm picking it up telepathically, but it's it's like I would describe it just for the sake of uh, trying to do this on human terms. Imagine like a twenty foot field around you, horizontally, uh, vertically, diagonals, like a sphere, right? And bringing the five senses into that field like you're talking about, like examining everything. And they were telling me, so I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this, the Arcturians. Uh, they were telling me that just focus on that. Just focus on this area that I just described. Everything about it. Don't look beyond it. Certainly don't think ahead tomorrow or yesterday. Just focus on this. Almost like you're listening to a tone and you try to align with it. But now it's yeah. all these things, right? And they said to me, God, I'm getting, I'm so lit up. I've never been this lit up on a show ever in 3,350 <laughs> shows. 
Um, uh, put your, put your, they've been telling me to tell you to make sure your feet are on the ground. They are. They're totally okay, on the ground. All right. Yeah. Totally. All right, good. <laughs> that's what kicked it up, though. <laughs> that's what made it go. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. But I wanted to ask okay. you this. So they're telling me, or I'm getting, which is okay, uh, that the more I can hold that frequency, the more accessible the higher skills and abilities will be available, such as teleporting. They were showing me that if, I, if I'm in that state and I can uh, sustain it, that there is no space and certainly no time. And I can reach over and put my arm around Morgan, right? And she's in Australia, like that type of... And again, these are my attempt in words um, to describe something that's wordless. So do you have any information? <laughs> well, Am I wacko? The thing is, just... Uh, no, no, no. Or, or, or we both are. Either way, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess I'm one too. Hmm. Um, the, uh, time and space. People get really attached to time and space. And they, it has to be this and it has to be that. And it has to be everything else. Okay. But time and space are very fluid. And... We have a lot of abilities uh, within that time and space. And um, if we can, and when we do, allow ourselves to think of time and space as like we think of the air and the ground and you know all those physical things. Uh, because the time and the space, that's what like goes into your brain, goes into your heart chakra, you know, grounds mm. you, you know, and that, that time and space is in, infinity. It's like uh, being in infinity. And so a lot of the things that you've been talking about, they're, they're like infinity. Right. But... Uh, Lots of people have connection to that. But if you don't know that you have connection to it, then you won't ground it. And if you don't ground it, then it just flies around and goes off to the next person. Well, I don't even know if it goes to the next person or not, but I'm just saying it's sometimes it's, it's, it's almost like the wind right. or the, like a soft breeze. Right. And, and, uh, and then you'll find, or anybody will find, that there's certain type places and times that that soft breeze comes in more easily. You know, there's like certain people that you get this kind of like, like a chill. Have you ever got that chill up, yeah, up and down? Yeah, for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a hello. <laughs> Are you there? I know. Yeah, I'm... You're okay? Oh, did you took a picture of yourself? I have no idea. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Something. <laughs> what was that click? I, I think I hit the microphone, but I don't know. Anyway, it's. It <laughs> I'm sure it's just a 3D thing. Oh yeah, it's of course, nothing, of course it is. Weird. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> God, I forgot what you had said to me. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm. Oh, about the. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm I'm a lot newer to this than you, but it doesn't feel like an individual energy. It feels like more of an energy complex com yeah. comprised of, I don't know the number, <laughs> many, many souls, I guess is how I'd put it. Yeah. Working I think as, number is like a third dimensional term. Yeah. And so when you, we talk in that, the third dimensional doesn't quite fit, right? Because it's, uh, it's like if you want to. Okay, you're at the beach. Exactly, how many waves did you see, and how big were the waves? You, yeah. you couldn't keep track of it all. Yeah. It's just beyond what, yeah. And so, uh, as we allow the world to come into us. Um, and just feel, oh, wow, oof, 
that was, oh, that gave me a shiver. Or, oh, what was that great feeling? That was great. Oh, oh, I'm going to do that again. Or uh, out of nowhere thinking, oh, I got to go home. There's something there. You go home and you find out that you forgot to turn off the something or other. And it would have been a big problem if you hadn't done that. Yeah. You know, so you start, uh, what's actually happening is there's a, a more activation of more synaptic junctions in your brain. Anyone, you know, anyone, not just you. It's about our, uh, uh, that's why the meditation is good. Because meditation makes you be still. And how often are humans still? You know, they're always running around doing something. They always have to do something. So it's that being still and calling up. Calling up. Uh, let me see what the Arcturians. The Arcturians would be very happy to have, converse with you. Oh, I would, I would be honored. Thank you very much. And, and, and they tell, they're telling you what they told me that uh, put aside a certain place at a certain time because you build an energy field. And that energy field allows us to bring in higher frequencies of reality. Did you want to write that down? Or I'm only it writing it down to internalize it, but I have a portal here. <laughs> yeah, sure you and do. So I'm, that's, sure. I'm not uh, the only person. No, I have a little forest behind my house, and uh, that's oh, where I go, but I don't go every day. And uh, when well, I have, when is, I do go out there, it's very powerful. Yeah, there you go. It's always that's very... That's your spot. Yeah. But, and, and, you know, like we do in prayer, uh -huh. we only do it when we need something. So, uh, you know, not that I don't commune all day long as much as you know I can um, and from a certainly from a humble place not knowing anything but yeah I, I get the message I get the message thank you well and and it's not that you don't know anything there's a lot of things you know you mm. I just know from talking with you it's like right there just like mm. so close if you just believe it it's there I believe this yes you yeah I believe this, this. Um, yeah so I don't want to get into my, uh, but if, if, yeah. if, so I, you know, can ask questions of the Arcturians or oh, what do you, how do you feel we should proceed? Just ask the question. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for uh, joining us and giving us this opportunity. Um, secondly, uh, thank you for your involvement in this the expansion of our consciousness and for coming um i'd like to know is the expansion of the consciousness of the individuals be uh, is it being created or caused by the efforts of the galactic family by whatever means. Well, that, yeah. well, what the galactic family was is uh, keep your feet in the ground and your head up in heaven and your heart open. Hmm. So it's not like a big fancy kind of you've got to do this and that and eat this food and not eat that. And, no, I mean, I, yeah, your diet, of course, is important, etc. But um, it's knowing that it's always there and you just go it's there it's there like you said there was a place outside yes your house okay so that's that's an example and you recognized it you recognize it was that place and you wanted to go back to that place and you'll know where these places are because you want to go back to them because they felt good Yes, and if anybody has any questions on the platforms, feel free to pop them up there. I'm watching them. <clears throat> I'm watching the comments. Uh, it feels like that the period between 2012 and 2021 
seemed to be like a really big phase. And since since 2021, uh, and certainly in 2022, things seem to be moving extremely fast. Uh, the energies are coming in very rapidly every day, and they're not slowing down, all the sun activity. Is there uh, a an event uh, approaching uh, very quickly? Because it feels like a big bubble's about to burst. Okay. Me, Sue, have no idea whatsoever, so I'm going to go into the Arcturians and see what I get. Okay. And I, so the first thing we say is that you do the same thing. Close your eyes, take a long, slow, deep breath. And this something that's coming. Oh, yes, I can feel it too. I feel it in my heart chakra. Feel, do you feel it? Yes. Where do you feel it? And I put my in hand on my heart for the exact reason yeah. before you said mm-hmm. that. Yeah, the heart chakra. Something's coming. Yes. And uh, the first thing that I'm getting real quick uh, is uh, <laughs> we're not going to know it till it's there. Did you get anything like that? Yes. Uh, okay, good. What What did you get? Uh, what I got was what we've been talking about before, what I was telling you it has been happening in the last few days. And uh-huh. the basically the technology that that is, which is engaging the... Engaging the... Uh, what has been not typical to engage the imagination, these connections, and to function uh, mm-hmm. as as the greater than human that we are. In other words, the the multidimensional aspect to truly, truly function, and 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 when that frequency is hit, um, the things that you could say we worry about. They don't exist. Yeah. If it's it's not part of that frequency field, then there's no reason to spend any more time on it, basically. Yes. Yes, that's true. And, and also, I was still, I was really, uh, when you were talking, I was really feeling the galactics. Yes. You know, the fifth dimensionals. Yes. And, and I think that you were really channeling the fifth dimensionals. Oh, I don't know. I, I saw them. I thought they were your friends. <laughs> well, they, they are. And they they're just, yours, too. <laughs> well, they just like, like a, uh, it was like a panorama, you know? Like yeah. If you look yeah. ever look at a meme that's really wide and narrow, and I just, yeah, they were just like right there. I turn around and look at that star thing uh, that you have on your wall behind you. Yeah. Other, the other side, yeah. Look up. This one? Do you see it? No. To the left, that star. Well, it's got you know one, two, three, four, five. The star picture. This one. No, over to right against the wall. These. Up, up, up here. There, that. Yeah, yeah. That's what is. Oh yeah, that? I see. That's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is. What is that? That is powerful. Uh, we have a friend in uh, Kauai, and she. She does these things. They're they're basically channeling. She did this this one back here too. Yeah, which is really really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, we've had uh, quite a few things. God, my ears are popping. <laughs> 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 I, well, we, I think you. It, uh, what I heard is that why don't you draw one of those? You make it yours though. Okay. But draw it. You had it right there. It was. Right to your, to my left, to your right. Right. The whole time we were talking, I'm looking at this thing. You know, it's like, okay. wow, that is cool. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that. In fact, uh, it's funny you say that because I found something here the other day <laughs> that I drew. Yeah. Uh, oh. Well. I think it's like the beginning of it. 
I don't, I'm, yeah, I don't even know what that was. But I guess I doodled that <laughs> at some point. Well, don't, don't take it down, so put it up again. Oh, yeah. Can you put it up again? Yeah. Let's see? Uh, down a little. Okay, so it's, ah, it's like a, uh, there's like a woman with, a, almost like getting married or something like that. Yeah. Like a, a wedding gown, you know. Well, but she's but she's different because she's got this kind of a head, you know. Yeah. She doesn't have a round head. She has this rectangular head. So it's not a a human, but it's a being. Yeah. And one of the things that's going to happen in the not too distant, because you know how much they're going into outer space more and more and more and more and more. And so as we go into outer space more and more and more and more. We're going to see some stuff we didn't ever think we'd ever see. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'll be, yeah. Well, and I think another thing, too, I don't know what your thoughts are. I'm really trying not to blast off. <laughs> but uh, Why? I mean, no, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I like to make jokes. I like to make jokes. <laughs> Believe me. People think, are you okay? I'm no, like, I'm fine. Yeah, I just like too. to make, I like to make jokes about it. But, um, well, yeah. I so like, what, watch you blast off. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, uh, one of the things that I feel that we're starting to detach from has been mm -hmm. our f fixation, obviously on what the media fed us and so on. We woke up to that, but even, when it comes to these conspiracies or disclosure things, say like secret space program, like my feeling is been building and then connecting with you and then whatever just happened is that um, no matter what anyone does in the physical world, yeah, what we're coming to supersedes that. It just yeah. doesn't matter if somebody's trying to pull one over. It doesn't even matter. It's part of what's not coming with us. So pay, pay no more mind to it, basically. T uh, say a little bit more about that, what's not coming with us. That was very deep little sentence. Well, like, okay, let, we'll just use these terms because I know it's not concrete. But let's say that we're going from a 3D Earth to a 5D Earth. Uh-huh. So ill intent... Uh, the people behind conspiracies or control or the one, whatever is not coming with us. In other words, I'm not saying that they're not coming with us, but that frequency won't hold yeah. where we're going. So anything that won't hold, there's no reason for us to spend any time fighting it or thinking about it or worrying about it. We've done enough. I guess another way you could say it is we've done enough shadow work yeah. that it's never ending. If you want to do shadow work, you can do it till, you know, till the cows go home, like we say in Texas. But yeah. I've, I, I'm getting that we have done enough work, many of us, that we don't, we can step into what you're talking about, like going to that place and, and really yeah. being open to whatever comes rather than, hey, I've got this problem. How do I fix it? You know? Yeah. S something like that. Well, tell me a little bit more about the last sentence about how, just for the others that are listening, about how the, the fixing, and how, how do we fix oh, it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was, okay. I I'd was, like to hear the rest of that. <laughs> sure, yeah. I was speaking in terms of like, we've spent a lot of time working on ourselves. You know, discovering what the shadow is, learning how to use it as a superpower or transform it. Um, so what I was saying is, is that what you were talking about, um, engaging that imaginary world, as we called it, uh, be developing a stronger relationship, and that the relationship has gotten to the point, it feels like, that we can make this jump, and we're no longer always coming to, let's say, the higher powers, with problems because these problems that we have aren't going with us <laughs> like you know what i mean 
There's something like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So so it's almost like (laughs) stop wasting your time on that. And let's start actually being these galactic multidimensional beings because it's all right here. Right. That is so deep. You mm-hmm. got it, girl. Well, you, <laughs> you, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> I've never had an experience girl, like God. this on the show. <laughs> so, th- did the Arcturians ever get uh, personal with you? Did they ever, you know, talk about themselves, or is they strictly business? Oh, uh, it was kind of like talking to you. You know, we just talk, Uh, except that they tell me to write it down. Mm. They've been telling me for a long time to always write it down and send it out because there's, you know, lots of people won't believe something unless they see it on a piece of paper. Right. So as you put out your stuff, (laughs) which you will be doing, just make sure that you, you know, write it down so they have to read it. Because if you just say something, they can go, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. if you read it, they'll, if, they, if you can get them the first page, first couple chapter, uh, sentences, the, what, wait, was that? What, what, that guy's, what's he talking about? <laughs> and then you got him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit crazy, but this is kind mm-hmm. of interesting. <laughs> and, so, and, and, and just know that if you're crazy, that's a compliment. Yes, of course. Crazy is a yeah. Of course, <laughs> that's crazy. You already know that. <laughs> to hell with conformity. We've been there. Yeah, <laughs> been there, done that for. Him. And and also, we're gonna miss out. We don't want to miss out. We've been all of our lives knowing that you know. That's it. But wait, wait, where's the beep beep? Wait, wait, what's missing? Okay, so we've got that going on all of our life. It's like, all right, I want to get the, what is that? And it's, it's more, it's more. Yeah. You know, that, 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 there's that thing that we always, that, 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 then it just ended. But you got to put the dead dead because that's the thing that you didn't want to say when you were in your lower states of consciousness. Right. Because that was like a little too, I think I must be crazy if I believe this, or that person's crazy that he told me. You know, it's kind of like crazy is the worst thing ever. But some of the best geniuses we've ever had <laughs> would have totally been called crazy. <laughs> You know, look at all the, you know, the the great people that have done wonderful things. Yeah. They get called crazy all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a compliment. And I think, too, like when you read people's stuff, I, I really, let me just restate what you said, because I, I hope nobody missed that, which the, you know, we have the... But it's the, yeah. no, it is because, and, and to me, what, what you're saying is, is don't leave anything out. Don't yeah. let the, the human mind come and say, oh, I don't want to sound like I know everything or uh, I, yeah. I want to be more modest or I don't want to tell yeah. the full story because I don't want people to think that I think I'm some, you know, uh, snooty starseed, but to actually yeah. bring in the fully yes don't leave anything yeah. out because yeah what your friends are telling us <laughs> are yes. that uh it will bring more clarity and more singularity to the truth in our shared experience there'll be less uh differing streams and narratives because that the reason that it's not clear is because our ego you could say yeah uh, diminishes the transmission and it's to be a hundred percent uh and as one person starts to do it another will start to do it because it's all encoded anyway yeah. but yeah i get it yeah yeah it's uh, yeah the, the ego goes da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. but it doesn't finish it mm-hmm. that's right 
because what will that person think if I finish that? Huh, you know, would they still like me if I could be like that? Or, right. you know, well, I'll get that job if I'm like that, you know, and that's what we need to let go of. Yeah. That we're not good enough. That, that's basically, right. you know, not good enough. Right. But, okay, so if we're not good enough, okay, good. Thanks for letting me know. Now, I'm get, now I know I need to start getting better. Yeah. That's not a compliment. I mean, that's not an insult. Yeah. Not good enough is, uh, thanks. Boy, I needed to hear that. Tell me exactly where I'm not good enough and I'll work on it. <laughs> of course, it depends who you're talking to. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, and then I remember what the universe has told me for years, which is uh, the most important download or code you can receive is the words that come out of your mouth. Even if you think you're talking about someone else, you're really talking about yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that flip with the universe, right? The, the yeah, paradox, yeah. paradox. But right. yeah, when you when you read people's stuff, though, uh, and even in some video productions, I would say. But when you read people's stuff, it you you can see the coding sometimes. That's yeah. beyond the words, more like in the the semantics and the geomantics, right? Like the the way it's framed up. So was that hiding something or revealing something? No, I think it's I think it's like uh, to me it's like our our multi dimensionality communicating it's a band of frequencies right so yes. it could be the voice yes. it can be the way i'm moving if it's a written yeah. word then it can be the way that things are phrased or framed up um, and i think it's just kind of an innate thing that comes through um, that's just my opinion no i think i think that's i, I totally agree with that because uh it doesn't come this is one of the things I've always gotten. It doesn't come to us, it comes through us. Right. And it's the through us when we are um, sharing. We're, this, is, this is every everybody's planet. Right. And, um, and we're on the verge of major changes. You know, with all this, you know, the outer space so close and you know all the things that are uh, that have been happening this is we're going to be going into a whole new ooh it'll, Over, huh? i'm kind of old i hope i'm still here <laughs> <laughs> well we're going to be we're going to be uh getting more youthful too i believe i mean we, well, it, it's all available it's all yeah, available, it's all, it's all available. Uh, i agree okay yeah, what good. were you just talk what were you just talking about the 3D mind memory kind of slips now and then. <clears throat> it's part of it's part of it, right? Um, yeah, because it's the past is the past. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, it was in regard to to uh, mm, that band of frequencies. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, right. so when we pull something down, so to speak, that's coming through us, because it's not us. That's a big yeah. one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's actually, we're taking ownership when we say, I'm going to leave this out. Or I'm, you know what I mean? When that, what we were talking about, we call, I called it the ego, but. Yeah. But we're actually taking ownership. Who are we to dilute or minimize the, tra the purity of the transmission we receive? Yeah. That's that's what got us into this problem in the first place on Earth is people thinking we possess anything and that we are actually something we're not. You know, very deep. Right. And no, then, that's very deep. And, and also, um, the very first being that I was connected well, mostly the whole time, well, always uh, was the Arcturians, and uh, the Arcturians. They're of, of the galactics. They're kind of the, the, the warrior, but only warriors for right and only warriors for clarity, you know. And the Arcturians, uh, do some research on the Arcturians. I think you'd really enjoy that. 
because they're uh, uh, they first came into me when I very first started to uh, well sort of meditate you know I didn't know what that was but just took some time in a certain room to just close my eyes and relax and that's when the Arcturians came in and they started they said uh, uh, build a website there wasn't such a thing then do a bit do make a website I'm like what what's a website I have no idea and so uh I just thought, oh, well, that's crazy. And then the next day, a girlfriend called me. We were just talking, and I told them that. And she said, oh, I know what a website is. I'll build it. And she built the whole website for free. Mm-hmm. And that's like one of my favorite stories. I, I don't know if I told it twice. It doesn't matter. It, I love it, it. It doesn't matter. It does Because, it's, yeah. yeah. It's the energy. It, it's the energy. The, yeah. It's the energy. It's your exuberance. It's your... It's your intrigue of, of yeah. that which created the experience. I mean, it's it's the code. Yeah. And now we're neat, we're really one of the things I do with my clients. Not that I would do it now because it's a longer thing, but I go through all of the, uh, you know, like the what the Arcturians are like and the Palladians are like, and the Antorians and the. The new scenes and then Gaia herself, you know, this is our family. And so can, can you give uh, us the cliff notes? I, I, I've already kept yeah, you over. Okay. Can you can oh, you no. can you go another 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, awesome. Yeah, okay. OK, especially for this part, because I've done this with lots of people and I'd be great to do it with you. Awesome. OK, thank you. Not, and it's not that there's a right or a wrong. It's mm-hmm. just a, brings up something inside of you because it's a higher frequency. Okay, so the first one would be the Arcturians. And so when I say the Arcturians, of course, I've already talked about them a lot, but what comes up with you when I say the Arcturians? I see the image that popped in when this started. Uh, I... Well, they're talking to me. I guess is how I'd put it. They've they've been really? talking. They've, they've been talking to me the whole time. I, so it's been the whole vortex of all of us. But I see their voice or their part of it, uh, and they're just reminding me that they've been talking to me for quite a while. And uh, when uh, did they start? When did they start? Uh, it started in 2018 in uh, July of 2018 in a hotel room in Houston, Texas, and. Uh, um, they came into the room and I actually, that's my first, no, I mean, that's my first recollection where I could say I'm 100% sure. Uh, Morgan and I had some episodes. We actually had some translucent beings appear in our, in kind yeah. of in ceremony. Um, and I don't know, I know what a couple of those were. There was one was a Syrian and one was an Alpha Centaurian. But anyway. The first time it happened, I was in this hotel room, and I freaked out a little bit, so I called Morgan on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I said, can you stay with me through this? So we we did, and uh, um, they, they did some work on my body. They showed me uh, some other beings that were involved, other planets. There was a Venusian, there was uh, uh, yeah. Alpha Centauri, and there was, there was like four. A, a Lyran. There was like several of them in the corner, but the, they, they were all in the room. They came as these little, you ever see like when people were doing birds on art or a painting uh-huh. and they just, go, yeah. they looked like that. They were all over the, so, but the interesting uh-huh. thing was, the interesting thing was the next morning I woke up and I've been living on a wing and a prayer on the road doing this thing. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't have any money. And, um, and they told me, uh, you need to, you need to uh, go to PayPal and take a loan out. And I hadn't had any credit in twenty plus years. I didn't even. I just and I just followed their direction. And boom, yeah, right. I got pulled out of the. And then they offered more information uh, over time, which was had to do with percentages, the three six nine, how to create five D commerce, uh, and you know. But uh, that's pretty much 
you know, I guess from time to time they might pop in, but. Well, how to create the 5D commerce. Mm -hmm. Would, I would love to talk with you some other time. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could really go into what 5D commerce we is. We can do that. You want to get together? Yourself. We can get yeah. together again. I'd love oh, to yeah. spend some time with you. I think that, I think people would really uh, get something out of hearing what you have to say. And, uh, and maybe yeah, I, I want to find out about this 5D economy. Oh, it's nothing. Good. It's nothing uh, that's real uh, in depth. It's basically uh, a, um, like in an enterprise, you take a third, a third, a third. A third goes to uh, cost. A third goes back into, um, you could say, back into the community, and and then a third for you know, I guess, abundance for whoever's involved. But it's based on the honor system and yeah. pay it forward. And so I have followed that since 2018. I mean, you know, it, I, when I go somewhere, I leave a tip. It's at least 33%. Uh, and I've watched the magic, you know, that comes from that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's been my experience with them. Who's the next one on the list? Wow. Who's the next okay. one? Uh, okay. Okay. I, I, I've got it written here, so I might do it. Uh, Arcturians, was that the one you just said? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Palladians. Palladians. From the Pleiades. Yeah. The Pleiades is. I'm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this this group. It's uh -huh. it, it's very much uh, to me. It's a very uh, feminine. You know, it's, uh, it's, yeah. uh -huh. it's very, and it, it's actually like, I look at this and it's, it's all Morgan, <laughs> you know, it's just, like, <laughs> it's like her, in, uh, a lot of it's her energy. And of course the colors, uh -huh. the colors, you know, the, the violets and the blues and the greens. <clears throat> yeah. Just very, I yeah. mean, like the heart's just like, wow. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're just pure love. Like the mother, the right. love of a mother. I yeah. Would say. yeah. They, they 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 love Gaia. They're yeah. they're, they're yeah. largely to do with why we still have a planet, <laughs> with all the stuff the humans have done. You know, the Palladians yeah. is like no, but all of these guys are part of the reason why we still have a planet. Yes. That's why I've been asking all these people what they feel. Okay, so uh, we did the Arcturians, right? Mm-hmm. And Palladians. Yes. We did them. Yes. Antarians. Antarians. Uh huh. Antares, right? Antarians. Antarians. Yeah, I, I could say it. I could be saying it wrong. No, no, you said it right. I just I said the planet yeah. versus the. Uh, oh, what's the planet called? So I, I think Antares. Right. Antares. A N T A R E S. So these are Antar uh -huh. Antarians. Wow, yeah, I've 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 only come across this uh, because of. Uh, like Morgan's got a connection. Um, never really went in depth about it. Uh -huh. I'm getting like a huge. Um, mm, like their stuff is at the third eye crown level. Like, uh, yeah, they're like blasting. I get. I don't know what you would call it, but you know, rays or or code or or you know, transformational evolutionary energies into our, to that part of that, that's into that part of uh, our physical body, like big time. That's just what I'm picking up. Uh, the, that was the. Antares. Uh, Antares. Antares. Yes. And the Antares, they're kind of like uh, the warrior group. Okay. Not people that. Uh, start a war, but people that will not tolerate a war. Like they'd finish the war. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to start it, but we're damn sure going to finish this right now. Uh, and yeah. the Pleiadian, like, the Pleiadian yeah. uh, mother goddess energy groups over here saying, yeah, it's like their boyfriend. Yeah, it's, yeah <laughs> that's right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I said Antares. Okay, and then Venusians. I've never really you know, Venus. considered then Venus. Uh, yeah, yeah, Venus, Venusian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really... I didn't know you were going to do this. I thought you were going to like tell us about it. 
No. Okay. Why should I tell you what no, you already know? I, I get this. Uh, you're like <laughs> totally shamanic in your efforts. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's a very deep, deep um, consciousness. Like a, the history is, is, is very close to us. Yeah. In us. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's very, it's, it's very, very deep. I mean, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, if you plant a tree on Venus, the roots come out the other end of the world. Like it's just, yeah. deep, right. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, yeah. it's also a strong feminine, yes. uh, high, high intelligence, yes. uh, super freaking intelligent. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess in a way they're warriors in their own right, in their own way, because they have been through hell and they yeah. have become quite, um, you know, like adept, uh, in, in a very cosmic yes. sense, like ascended masters, you know, type of high yeah. level, high level. Yeah. Right. Right. And then, uh, let me see. This is Lyra. So this is kind of not a lot of people know about Lyra. Lyra. I didn't know. Hmm. Yeah, Lyra. Well, I mean, okay. So like, obviously, their their characteristics physically, you know, uh -huh. feline. Uh, mm. But a but a really. Um, uh, they're not like a specific species. They're like, like a multitude of branches of it. A uh, huge, uh -huh. a huge family, and very, very prominent on the earth, even to this yeah. day. Even to this day, yeah. through, through the cat oh, consciousness. Yeah. Uh, you know, people talk about whales and they talk about dolphins and such, but they're yeah. they're like uh, their presence is in is in is multidimensional and it's and it's very, very much part of our uh, physical reality, primarily through cats of all kinds. That's yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I could really feel it. Okay, yeah. and then Lyra. Now I don't know much yeah, about. We this, but it's yeah, we just did Lyra. Yeah, we just yeah we just we did Lyra. Yeah. Okay, great. And then of course Gaia herself. Wow, that's that's deep. So what does Gaia herself have to say to you? Oh my God, that's deep because, you know, <laughs> as everything levels up, I've yeah. been revisiting Gaia uh, consciously for like about two weeks. Um, oh, wow. And not, not rushing cool. anything, just knowing yeah. that we're to be making a higher level connection. That's the only way I can describe it. So wow. Gaia is... Uh, <laughs> This is going to be like an earful. So yeah, Gaia, <laughs> she needs it. She's like, uh, <laughs> she's like, I don't know if to describe her as uh, a mother that's a bit put off, or <laughs> or um, your you know your spouse that's a little bit put off, but you can see the love. And, yeah. and really the reason, and I'm kind of joking, but the reason that she's, and she's absolutely just pounding uh, energy right through my crown. Ah, and uh, like Hold huge, on to like that. Gigantic. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think it's turning off now. It's like, okay, so she's saying to me on a personal level, and maybe this is collective. She says, like, uh, it's about time. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh granted yeah. everything that's been done yeah everything you've done or y'all have done uh but it's about time like yeah, yeah. the attachment to distraction you might say it doesn't it's not coming with us okay so get over it yeah kind of thing <laughs> be a star seed be an angel be a galactic and and go out there and kick ass and take names okay on in, in, in my name <laughs> In my name, the mother, okay? And because yeah. uh, I ain't playing and I don't need for you to be playing and I need for everyone to just like, you know, let that shit go, 
Okay. Because if it's not yeah. coming with you, it ain't, it, you're wasting your time and you're actually counterproductive to what, what needs to happen. This is all for you. And it's not a drudgery. And as you do these things that are going to occur anyway. All right. But I'm just telling you, yeah. you can, you can help the cause now by, uh, by letting go of that stuff because the, the, the it's, it, it's not drudgery. The other side of it is you're going to be expanding in ways that, that are going to blow your mind, period. Like you're yeah. going to be doing things that are just, you're going to be like, why did I wait so long? So she's, she's happy. She's loving. She's not wasting any time. And she's uh, extremely, I've never really experienced like that. She's a loving mom that doesn't take shit. That's exactly right. And that's what we and need. And boy, has she, has she had to take shit. Oh, and she's getting it. sick of it. She is D-U-N. That's right. That. No mas. We are finished with that now. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like that, because, uh, you know, we, we spend a lot of time in these communities talking about masculine and feminine and the dance, yeah. you know, collectively. And, and, and like, you know, I talk about our relationship uh, because how it parallels and mirrors some of the collective stuff. Yeah. But, um, do you, does it seem to you that this, what you just expressed about her, is starting to show up in, in many of the physical, physically incarnated women on the earth? Like, oh, yeah. Like, to me, it's like yeah. Gaia's guerrilla warfare team yeah. like they're behind yeah. them. they're like nobody they're not like a big army that is that assembles they're like all yeah. in the boot and they're they're doing it in their homes they're doing it yeah. you know what i mean like how do you feel about that well the guy is saying no more mr nice guy mm -hmm. you know i've had it that's the end you know you don't get to put this stuff in my water you don't get to put this junk in my air you don't get to you know and then also with them i always get the pyramids picture remember you know because i you know i anything anytime i could find anything on the internet that had anything to do with the pyramids i was all over it and read it and right read it 10 times you know uh, of course, forgot it all, but nonetheless. <laughs> well, I was gonna, I was actually gonna ask you about the pyramids because yeah. there's so much more information coming out, and yeah, and uh, one of the things I'd heard, well, Morgan started doing these. Uh, we started doing. She uh, facilitated us going to the New Earth Grid per her guidance, yes. and yeah. a big part of the grid, or really the grid itself as well as our own vehicles, our octahedrons, which is a four-sided pyramid on, on top of a four-sided pyramid, you know, where the, the bases meet. So the reason I brought up the pyramid thing, uh, one of the things I was going to ask you about was what, there does seem that this isn't just like some fad or something, like the pyramid thing is, is really coming online. And some yeah. people say that there is a, a etheric, pyramid beneath these physical structures which is actually an etheric py uh, pyramid as well but, so they're actually not pyramids they're octahedrons do you know anything about the relationship between the pyramids and or the octahedrons uh, in terms of what we're going through and about to go through well octahedron is what four-sided yeah it's a four-sided pyramid uh, or, you know, yeah. you have one like that, yeah. oh, and then you have one. That's, like, okay. Yeah. No, it's the other side around. What? Because what I get with all of this huh. is when I go there, where where we are now, I huh. see where they have the uh, the pyramids, uh -huh. where they have the pyramids, which is like supposedly the the beginning of society of humanity of you know this new brace called you know human beings, right. you know. And so um, that uh, the to me the uh, that's Gaia too. That's Gaia because Gaia she has a core, and with 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 in my mind, right, wrong, or whatever it is. But what I have seen and etc. Is that the the pyramids are there? And, you know, people have gone to the pyramids, but you can go 
inside the pyramids. And then you go down, 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 down. And uh, there's all these things. There's, uh, uh, you go down first, and then you have to be, you go in these uh, water. You know, you take your clothes off or leave your clothes on, it doesn't matter. But you, you get in the water, you cleanse yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you're going into the, the core of your right. beloved planet, you know, right. you want to be clean, you know, <laughs> and so you clean yourself. And, and then you go and you, you know, they gave you clothes or something. And then you go down deeper, deeper, deeper. And then uh, when you get to the core, there's this violet fire. There's the violet fire and the fire just goes like that. But it's, it's not hot. Right. Like a fire would be, you know, there's like this violet fire and that's like, uh, keeps Gaia warm. Gaia keeps, is kept warm or not warm. You know, if they're up top, they're having uh, a rainstorm down top, they'll make it warm. If they're having it, you know, where it's, this is, this sounds really crazy, right? But <laughs> no, it doesn't sound crazy. No, it does not hear. No. <laughs> you're like me, you're as crazy as me, so we can be crazy together. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so then we go, we go, when we go in there, we go, we take off all of our clothes and we sit in the same water and we sit in the sacred water and then we come out and then we, you know, to, well, I guess we do whatever the clothes part. By that, by then you can care less if people have clothes on or not, doesn't matter. Um, and uh, so then we go uh, into the, the center, the center of the planet. And, oh, so beautiful. It's just so, Gaia is, is as beautiful in the very middle as it is all the way on the outside. And... Um, but you have to go downstairs, stairs, 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 and then stairs, 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 because you know, you're walking to the center of the earth. Um, but that's just a vision, or it's more than just a vision. Yeah, it's more than know? just a vision. That's a very powerful. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of memory. Yeah. There's a lot of memory in your words. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Cam you should. Huh? You should do that sometime. I just the, did. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. I just, that's why I said it's uh, it's <laughs> memories because I've had I've had this thing with the inner earth since this all started for me. In fact, when I first woke up, it was all about the trees, yeah. and yeah. and every time I would connect, I would be going through these tunnels with stairs, yeah. right? Constantly, and it was just tunnel after tunnel after tunnel, and you turn yeah. and you're here and you're Go there, and the corridor here, and, but it was all. So I've been totally intrigued about the physical, um, let's say, okay, like the physical, potential physical um, reality uh, coming yeah. to our attention or into our experience of the inner earth family. Yes. I feel like that. It is, yeah. yeah. I feel like that. Um, we, we spend a lot of time talking about the star family out there in the cosmos, but there's a lot of family here on this earth that we're not aware of. That's of a higher intelligence or at a higher frequency band. Let's put it that way. Yes. Right. So. And, and then you could do it a little imagination for yourself and you go down, 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 down. And then, uh, uh, then we have to go into the sacred waters. To, to cleanse ourselves, yeah. and so we go to these. It's like ah, it's like best water ever, and then you go from the water. I think you go down usually, down to the core of the core, and then there's like the flame, you know, the flame that keeps mm -hmm. it alive, and but whenever I do these, this came to me uh, the first time when I was on vacation, you know, with my husband, and we were in the middle of nowhere, you know, and I just went to sleep. 
and had this amazing experience and woke up and went, wow. But I was right by a big, some, I forget which uh, mountain it was, but you know, it was total nature, nature. And um, yeah. So wow. you're in, you're in Northern California. Isn't that right? Is that Northern California or Central? Uh, uh, Are you in the mountains? I, no. Okay. No, so. we're, we're in Cambria. You're right. So that's why I go northern, southern. We're kind of in the middle. -ish. Yeah, yeah, you're central. Yeah, before yeah. it starts to get, yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. That's a very pretty country up there. It's a very pretty country. Yeah. And the most amazing birds. So many different birds. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nature, nature. So. Do, you, do you hear the birds? Can you understand the birds? Uh, well, we have, we've had birds since we first got married. So we've always had birds. But, you know, birds don't live as long. Right. But we do have one bird left called Alice. And Alice is a um, big gray bird. Oh, yeah. She's an African, African, African gray. gray. Yeah, those are, yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. Now, they live, a long, they live a long time, though, don't they? They live a long time, and they are smart. And, you know, if she wants to get fed, boy, you know it, you know, so. You know, so. You know how these crazy things happen to you for many of us when we first wake up, though, like it's like, it's like a, uh, like, you know, like you get like 70 years in seven months, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like, and I remember yeah. just in the, you know, just in, in the, the journey that made no sense. Why did I end up here? Why did I end up here? I end up going to this, uh, this lady's house. And her mother, her mother had just passed. So I guess I was going over there to, to do some soul work of some sort. Yeah. And there was, there was, there had to be, I'm telling you, there had to be 12, 14 cages. It uh, was full of birds. And, yeah. and yeah. we walked in and I was working with a medium. She was with me. And, yeah. uh, and so I guess in the, you know, time that I'd known this medium, I had told her, like, as I was just waking up, like, I was told, this is your soul name, right? And yeah. so we walk into this, this lady's bedroom who had passed, now her daughter was there, I guess, whatever we we're going to do. And there was one bird that was at the very back. And she had put yeah. the bird back there because the bird was closest to the mother and was not a happy camper. Like you're talking about your African gray. Yeah. If you don't feed it. Yeah. Well, this was an African gray. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're and smart. as soon as we walked in, we were like, wow. You know, the energy and the birds. Yeah. And you hear, the, and, and she's like telling us who the birds are. And then you hear in the very back, this African gray yells my name out, my soul name. <laughs> and she said, oh, my God. Because they were like, she was like, you little shit. You won't talk anymore. You won't. You just want to raise hell. And, and this guy walks in and, you know, so, you know, there's no coincidences, I guess. Right. Yeah. There's, there's... Yeah. No, our, our bay, our gray is like a family member. And then we even take it outside in the cage. But mm -hmm. you, it has to be in a cage because there's birds everywhere. You know, those things we are... live in the country. Those and things so are... she couldn't. Yeah. Pardon? They're, they're big. They're huge. They're big African birds. Uh, to me, they are. Yeah, they're big birds. Yeah. yeah, they're big birds. And smart, and they talk. Yeah. I've, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I just want to say that this has been an absolutely uh, wonderful, different type of broadcast that we normally do. I really appreciate you coming and honoring us with your oh. presence, sharing space with us. But uh, I just want to say that for me, the biggest takeaway in talking to you, the biggest validation or confirmation is see if I can put it into words is your whole message, your whole energy of letting go of all those things that are keeping us from a direct, a, a, a more enhanced connection. Even if we know we're connected and even if we think we're really connected, right? Like there's the war, it's time for the worries to go, you know, it's time yeah. for all this, this stuff that's that's really just been part of this lower experience, lower matrix, whatever you want to call it, 
Yeah. It's 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 now we can we can sweep it clean. It's it doesn't have to go with this. Uh, it doesn't have to be so hard. And 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 yeah. then I think your life speaks to what I try to describe. I call it magic from a human perception, but like that synchronistic, serendipitous path that's evolved since they said, "Hey, go open a website." Like <laughs> you're, in which I believe a lot of pretty much everybody here. I, I like to say this on the show that like they, we are seen as crazy. Our family disowns us, all the normal stuff, right? Yeah. And yet here we are still following the guidance, no matter how crazy it's gotten. I think yeah. that that speaks to the faith, the innate faith that we have in the universe. Otherwise, yeah. so, you know, when we said we lost our memories, we really didn't lose that. So, well, yeah. we're getting them back because we're going into outer space more and more all the time, more and more. And going into outer space like that, that's going to change everything. It's got to be a whole new, we're not like, oh, we're the humans from planet. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh, you know, that, that kind of medium pointed star thing I think that is that is that where earth is <laughs> that speck that little fish bowl in the in the corner of a realm that everybody thought was the the what the redheaded stepchild no 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 offense to redheads right um yeah well you know like you're right though I mean literally metaphorically being uh it's no different than like you were talking about, like being examining everything in front of you to the uh -huh. degree where it's not just, oh, I can see that. It's more like, how does this work with me? Like taking it yeah. to that level. Uh, but, but to have that type of awareness and engagement when you're in, let's just say, somebody else's neighborhood, that's, yeah. that's, like, that's like a university course. That's like, that's like a gift of codes. You know, it's like going to a, a, a gourmet buffet, you know, so I, yeah. get, I get what you're, I can feel what you're saying um, and it feels right. Yeah, I'd love to get together with you again. I'm sure the, uh, oh, the sure. communities would love, would, would love to and uh, I really appreciate when? it again. And if I didn't have to get off and get on the next show uh, in 15. Uh, when do you want, when, you know, if we don't, if it's not in your book, it's not in your life. You know that one. Uh, well, we can do but you something. you can call me later uh, or something. But yeah, uh, Morgan, book, yeah Morgan will reach out to you. I mean, she's probably already got it in her mind, knowing her. Okay, great. Uh, how great. did I lose you? <laughs> I lost the screen. Okay. Oh. Well, it's been a pleasure. Tell your your uh, your, your uh, friend over there, your man over there, I said hello. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, My husband. <laughs> your husband. I just didn't want to say, you know, uh, take yeah, it. Yeah, you don't know these days. But, yeah, I, I did. I should have. I see. This is the thing. I'm sorry. This is the thing that I took away from you is to don't leave anything out. Don't leave. Yeah. The, and see, I knew that was your husband and I should have just went with it. So yeah, I, you should have. Trust that's yourself. what I really meant was my takeaway from you is whether it's me trying to sing a song or write a poem or do a show. Don't leave anything out because from an energetic standpoint, that's a power move. That's like swimming in the new energy you know swimming right? in the new energy yeah so thank you for that gift and, and all the other things that you and my my takeaway from you mm -hmm. is that you are so easy and fun to converse with and i really enjoyed our conversation big so, ditto thank you so much <laughs> Big ditto, and we're signing off. And this is no joke, people. This there's no we're coincidence. Let go. <laughs> at, we're signing off at one hour and forty four minutes. One forty four. Peace go. out. Bye bye. Peace out. <laughs>